Well, <laughs> there are many freeways in Texas, and uh, all of them are kind of great. But into one to me, which stands out the most, is simply I-35. And I'm here to explain why on today's video. I-35 is a pretty long freeway in Texas that runs all the way from uh, the Canadian... No, no, no. No, it's the Mexican te uh, Texas border, all the way in like Laredo, around from there, all the way to um, Oklahoma. So it's the north to south freeway that the only north to south freeway that kind of spans the entire state. Kind of like how I-10 and I-20 span the other uh, side of the state. And well, well, since I and well, um, I-35 is also world renowned for always being under construction. You can see that everywhere. I was talking about I-35 is always under construction. That's true, because since it's the largest, longest north stop freeway in the state, there's always a lot to work on. And there's so many miles in the state, I'm pretty sure it's, it's, it's long. And I think I'll address this other projects that kind of make it controversial, because you kind of see, if you can see here, I was talking about the project in Austin. And there are many people who don't like this. They actually want this stuff. They actually want the whole freeway scrapped and turned into a boulevard. That's kind of one of the options uh, where I-345, that's for another video. Uh, now I think I'll look at the other supposed best freeways in the state. Okay. Now this is kind of one of the large changes with I-10. As you can see, it's very huge, it's very wide. I-10 is actually known for being one of the, probably the wise freeway in the United States at one point, because at one point that's 26 lanes and that's very expensive. But the reason why I don't think it's the best freeway in Texas is because it doesn't have consistency. That's the problem. If you always, they can look good for a bit, but they can't be consistent. Because we all know outside of Houston, I know the few construction projects that pop up that are gonna fix that a bit, but still, as of now, outside of Houston, it reverts back to two lanes. But it's not in a big, big uh, environment, big, you know, where there's lots of uh, uh, businesses around cities. It's gonna turn back to a rural freeway, even though for now, it'll go from 26 to 4. It's actually wild, but. Shoot. The reason why I give I-35 the consistency argument is because for at least for over 200 miles it has at least three lanes in each direction which honestly is great because you guys because if we go kind of here oh uh, this is a uh, Elmont this is an Elmont Texas this is a typical section of I-35 you can see front road uh, if you go for longer, Frederick kind of, it doesn't really go away my spot, but it, it kind of stays because that's the thing with the city where it, it's supposed to be, all the construction working on it has kind of made it more swift, more efficient, and uh, I guess easier going because in these rural areas, It's actually one, uh, a very, still a very good freeway. But the construction has lots of concerns because businesses, closures, 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 closure after closure after closure after closure. Why is, why is that 35 dollars in construction? And I kind of get that's a very controversial thing. And well, the only way I can kind of explain it is I-35 is a very long freeway, so one portion of it will always be under construction. It's kind of like... Um, Interstate 20. No, not Interstate 20. It's like, I don't know, it's like it always needs maintenance because lots of it was built back in the maybe 60s and kind of needs to be uh, restored. Or well, not restored, but built up to better standards. Not enough about why it's kind of as, but I will say. 
Um, no, US 75 is only contender because of the high flags and the changing the. Uh, and I guess how vital it is to Dallas transportation, but I-35 is kind of more than that. It's not vital to this Dallas uh, traffic. It's vital to San Antonio, Austin, Waco, Denton. And it carries traffic all the way to the Mexican border, so trade so it very much helps with trade, which is why some things there's so many cars on there. And there's so much destruction because they're trying to make up the standards because they know lots of cars are going to be driving on this because they can easily use this to get from Mexico to other states because it goes north to south. And I think it's time I look at this. Okay, I'll read a bit. Uh, Austin's I-35, despite of the region's roadway grid, is about to go a large expansion since the highway opened in 1962. Brace yourself, construction could last a decade. This time it's for real. The money, at least $4.5 billion, has been set aside. Textile is willing to draw from future road projects if it's cash. Road building companies will start bidding on contracts this spring. Construction is planned to kick up this summer unless the loss stops it. This project is officially known as I-35 Capital Express Central, R-35 Cap EX Central for so, and it's seriously big. The highways and footprint will devour 48 acres of land. More than 100 homes and businesses, I-35 increased capacity will bring more urban, bring more urban sprawl, air pollution, climate warming, gases, and noise. Oh, you see in my last video, I talked about urban sprawl, so if you want to watch that, I guess. I'll probably put it at the end of the video, uh, but. Oh yeah, look, this is a, okay. This is a walkthrough on Texas on road plans along the eight miles of I-35 from Ben White Boulevard to US-280 East. Uh, before we dive into the details, let's get to the high points. Texas says it'll build two extra managers in each direction from Ben White Boulevard to US 38 and managed lanes in this case high occupancy vehicle lanes will be restricted to first responders, public transit videos, and cars and trucks at more than one person site. Local and state police will be responsible for enforcing the ve the vehicle occupancy minimums. Tear down the upper decks the upper de decks that run from Main Road to Airport Airport Boulevard. Uh, sink the main lanes 30 or 40 feet to one ground level from house to April Boulevard. Install caps. If y'all don't know what a cap is, I don't know. If y'all live in Dallas, go climb one park and uh, no, it's not really a cap, but it's kind of like whenever you put like a park over a freeway and you make the freeway go deeper so it can kind of connect the street grid more. The risk case has been sent to create an I 35 tunnel to downtown Austin. Only if Austin University of Texas foot the bill. Dang, cost it close to nine hundred million, not including tens of million dollars. Dang. Large interchanges. Okay. North to South on Fred run side by side to downtown much BT area. Add more than twenty miles of shared use path to basically ten eight to two eight to ten feet wide sidewalks so and include two foot curves. Okay, so the decks that usually run now, okay, they're kind of going to be. Oh, okay, this kind of makes sense. So, man, right here, right here. Okay, okay. These are the plans. Yes. It's an interesting concept, really. But businesses will be affected, everything will be affected. This is kind of cost of urban sprawl, all this. All this just to, you know, widen freeways and improve traffic, but will it really improve traffic? Uh, only time can tell this project. And uh, now let's kind of detour to the 
uh, detail to the uh, San Antonio one. Reconstruction has indeed started, but uh, like I said, the central statement looped uh, 410 east of Bexar County line. Uh, I'm going to go to the central one. This one, just this one. Or what about I thirty five portion? Hold it. There's I thirty five portion. Or this is the I thirty five project. But I thought ten years is probably talking about when they overlap because we're in the Uh, this is a section of construction is going on. As you can see, um, this whole project is about making uh elevated uh lanes, stress lanes, H O V lanes, as well called. And they're right there. Um, go different interchange. You can kind of see how it's going on. Oh, not here. Oh, go more north. Because I remember I saw something that uh, showed them uh, how it. it it looks like and how much you're getting done because it's not the most but it's some yeah right here you can clearly see uh they're trying to add things to this bridge and look as you can see these are the on the piers for the other expressions as you see they look quite similar to these look quite similar to what we see over here because that was the design that was the function this project will take a while and like most projects it's in phases because you know how projects are in phases and when they're in phases they quite literally they take longer to complete and it's quite and it's frustrating for some because this uh section will just got finished being under construction why is this section also under construction and it's quite confusing for some but um yeah i did five usually under construction but still, it's the best, and I think this construction has kind of made it the best. Even though it's very controversial, I somewhat don't agree with going to neighboring properties. But I don't know, because they like going right of way a lot. Like, you know, kind of what they did with uh, State Highway 183 for its expansion a few years ago. I don't agree with having tips out those, but um, uh, I guess they try to widen the freeway. And take care of other sections of roadway. Uh, yeah. Uh, well, I watch out for more videos, like, um, because I'll be posting it again soon, I post about I-345, I post about State Highway 360, because I actually want to get that, I want to adjust that, because I'm kind of, I'm kind of vexed about that taking so long. Yeah, uh, see y'all, hopefully, also, hopefully I'll watch more videos, and 